What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? I'm all right. A little tired. Had a long night. It's my boyfriend's birthday. But. Anyway, I want to come and do a quick segment. I want to talk to y'all about, you know, some strange things, some stranger. I think we're going to call this segment Stranger Things. And, um,. I want to talk about some of the weird stuff that, or some of the paranormal activities that I've experienced in my life. And, um, you know, I want y'all to join in, join the conversation. Leave a comment. Let me know how you feel, what you thought it was, or, you know, your first thoughts. And let me know if you've ever been in a similar situation or, you know share some of y'all stories and then you know even a video okay so boom here it go it was one night y'all it was a couple of days before halloween right just a couple of days before halloween and i loved the fall it was real it was dead smack in the middle of fall foggy outside leaves rain you know all that good stuff now at this time in my life i had moved in with my ex we was trying to do the whole let's live together thing, but it wasn't working out. So me and him ended up getting to it, y'all, and I left and I went to a hotel. Now, before I went to the hotel, I went out. I had a few drinks or whatnot, and um, I went to the hotel by myself and, you know, went to sleep. I was there pretty early, too, maybe like 11 or 12. Went to sleep, woke up hot, dehydrated. When I woke up, it was probably about 2 in the morning, you know, and I'm just waking up. All the lights is off and shit. I just came in there and laid across the bed. So, as I'm waking up, you know how you you up, but you're not up. You're kind of in the middle of the dream state and, you know, like I was kind of in the middle trying to shake off my days. And I seen something in the bed with me, y'all. I seen a little creature. Now the creature, it was probably about the size of a, a small ball. Really small, could probably hold it in two hands. It was very furry. It was a creature like I've never seen before. It had, uh, it reminded me of a bat, but it had fur. It had hair, like long hair, like it was covered in hair. It remind me of like them little Furby dolls, but it had wings. But it also had big googly eyes, like like a Furby doll, but like a spider. Like it had more than one set of eyes. I want to say it had teeth or fangs or something. And y'all do not think I'm crazy. But I rolled over and I looked at that thing, and that thing looked at me, and I hopped out my bed so fast y'all i hopped out that bed so fast i tripped and fell it cracked my head on the nightstand i don't know if y'all can see i still got a scar in the middle of my forehead because of it now i didn't crack my head on the nightstand y'all i'm talking about warm blood just running down my face i hop up i run straight to front desk like i don't even look for my phone room keys nothing i just ran straight out the motherfucking room because what the fuck was that? You know what I'm saying? And this bitch in the bed with me. I look over it, look at me. I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. So, y'all, I hop out the bed. I run straight to the front desk, blood all over my face. They're like, oh, my God, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. But it's a bat in my room. It's a bat. The bat was in the bed with me. Somebody needs to come get this creature. I left my phone in there. I left my purse. I left everything in the room. I'm scared to go back to the room. I need a new room, right? So they like, well, should we call EMS? Are you hurt? You know, they're trying to get me to fill out incident reports. They don't want to get sued, all this shit. I'm like, listen, there's a bat in the room. Please come with me to go back in there so that I can get my shit. Because I, I can't live without my phone. I need my phone. So, the lady like, okay, you know, she like, give me one second. She gearing up, bitch grabbing brooms and sticks and shit. We walk back to the room, just me and her. 
She brave. She done led it. She done led the way. She done flicked on the lights, y'all. Nothing. And we don't see nothing in the room. Just my phone laying on the floor. She go, she check under the bed. Nothing under the bed. Nothing in the motherfucking room. I'm like, well, maybe it flew out when I ran out because I swear to God, it was something else in this room with me. It looked at me. We made eye contact. It scared me so bad that I jumped out the bed and cracked my head on the uh, nightstand. She's like, I believe you, but we don't see anything. I'm like, well, can we change my room just in case? Y'all, it was the creepiest thing I ever seen. Nobody believed me. I tried to tell my parents and stuff because people seen me, you know, with my face and shit. Everybody was wondering what's wrong. People thought I got hit with a bottle, all types of stuff. I'm like, no, nah, y'all. Like, I got scared by a ghost or a demon or something. I even went as far as to um, talking to a psychic. But for, I had other stuff going on, too. But I asked the psychic. It was on Black Spectrum Network. I'm like, you know, I seen this thing in a room with me, in the hotel with me. I don't know. Was it a ghost? Was it a demon? Is it haunting me? Is it following me? And because the lady told me that, you know, it was weird things happening at the hotel all week and, you know, whatever, whatever. And the psychic pretty much told me that um, that it was a spirit that was lingering around the hotel. That it wasn't connected to me, that it was connected to that place and that I didn't have nothing to be worried about. So, y'all, yeah, I be seeing stuff. <laughs> but I just want to come on there and share my short story with y'all real quick. So let me know if y'all have ever experienced anything paranormal that y'all want to share. Let me know how y'all feel about my video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.